When you think of icons of the motoring world, there's one brand that often pops up to the top of your mind, one of huge heritage and motorsport pedigree. Today, we're going to be taking a little journey down memory lane and taking a look at some of the most legendary cars in a private collection you may not know about. So, you may be wondering what we're doing here today. Well, Ford very kindly allowed us to come down to their very own heritage fleet and see a collection that not many people get to lay their eyes on. <laughs> man, oh man. Okay, where do you even start? So, I think we'll go left to right, up and back. So, let's get started. First of all, Mark 1 Mexico, press car for Ford for quite a long time. Absolutely mint condition in the red best color for the mexico in my opinion my opinion obviously man oh man it is absolutely mint it has done 33,000 miles 33,000 miles from you what an absolute machine this one of importance as well this is the original mexico something that you'll actually be seeing us cover in another video so definitely something to look forward to right behind us you've got where do you even look? Where do you, okay, let's start. Supervan, obviously the most batshit crazy van in existence. Incredible car, we'll never get to drive it, but looks very cool. Monte Carlo RS Cosworth in probably my favorite color I have ever seen one in. This purple is absolutely phenomenal. And to be honest, it's actually in pretty good condition considering it's a press car. What are the miles? 41,000 miles on an Escort RS Cosworth with the right whale tail and the right alloys. It's fantastic. It's just everything you, you could ever, ever actually want. I'm, I'm a kid in a candy shop right now. So not only is there one RS Cosworth, there is a second one in a rather more tame per se, blue. How many miles has this one done? Absolutely no idea. 15,000 miles. And it has the leather interior, so plus one from me. Next up, Brooklyn's Capri, uh, 280 injection. Very, very good car, very, very cool. Love the color. Something that actually I think really suits the Capri. How many miles has it done? We're about to find out because all of this collection is absolutely mint. 32,000 miles. I mean, <laughs> where do you start? Where do you start in this collection? Right behind you, original, not replica, original Ford GT. Now this one didn't race in Le Mans, but it was one of the original road cars that was the press car back in the day. I mean, it's a GT40. What do you say to that? It's one of the most iconic racing cars of all time. One of the most iconic racing shapes of all time. It is just, it's just the embodiment of, of perfection in my opinion. This car is, I mean, 917 comes close, but this is definitely one of those cars that you just can't get enough of. I mean, come on. Next up, Ford GT, 2005, when they started remaking the iconic car. To be honest, I actually like this car. A lot of people were a little bit iffy about it. Um, to be honest, I think it's fantastic and I won't let anyone else tell me otherwise. Next up, a very important car also, closely related to the car behind you, which you'll see in another video. This is the 1995 London to Mexico car, which is the 25th anniversary of the original London uh, to Mexico 1970 car, again raced by Hannu Mikula. So pretty spectacular car. I think this one actually has a different engine compared to the original. It has one of my favorite Ford engines, BDA. I mean, you, you can't, how can you go wrong with a BDA? Something that screams over 9,000, 9,000 RPM in a Ford. Absolutely mental. And then over here, I mean, this is just muscle car heaven. Ford, Ford Mustang, fastback. Not one, but two. Second one in the bullet Mustang green. I mean, man, oh man, it's such a beautiful color. And I think this one has actually got fairly decent mileage as well. 30,000 miles, 30,000 miles on this. And I think I'm pretty sure we can open up. There we go. 
Oh, man. It doesn't get much better than that, really, does it? It speaks for itself. I don't, you don't need my commentary on this one. Ford Capri, very nice choice. Pinto engine. Focus RS, probably one of my favorite modern Fords ever. But over the back here is what a lot of people lust for. The Lotus Cortina. Oh, perhaps the car that started it all for Ford UK, motorsports wise, arguable, but definitely one of the most iconic in this workshop. And then over the back, you've got the two over there, but now you've got another two here. And in fact, one that is notably much more famous, which is an actual genuine Group A rally car. I mean, what can you go wrong? Look, look at this. Look, look at that interior. Absolutely brilliant. And then of course, yellow RS Cosworth as well. Admittedly, probably not a color that I would choose, but certainly know someone that would. Orange Focus ST, good color, good car. Bit yobbish, not for me. Anyway, admittedly, I don't really know much about this era of Ford, but I can certainly appreciate design and beauty when I see it. So yeah, I mean, come on. What's a car? It's not the fact that they're all so well maintained. It's the fact that every single car in this collection technically can drive. Not all of them are obviously working at the same time. A lot of them need maintenance, but they can drive. Over here, Stealth Spec, Focus RS, the ultimate Yobbo car, in my opinion. Would I own one? Mm, probably not. I kind of prefer something that's a little more rear wheel drive, but can certainly appreciate it for what it is. Speaking of interesting Yobbo cars and appreciating for what they are, V8 Mustang. Modern, for sure, I get that, so it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but this is a UK manual, so can't go wrong with that. This is actually quite interesting. Auto car, Fiesta WRC car, which is quite interesting. Obviously, you don't really see much of these being used for rally or anything high performance, because yes, cool. They're very, very popular in the modified scene, but they didn't really do much motorsport per se. So it's quite cool to see that, in my opinion. Interestingly, I'm pretty sure this was the car that Chris Harris drove in the 2005 Wales Rally GB. So that's a pretty interesting little bit of information for you there. Whether he knows it's actually at the Heritage Collection, I have no idea. But regardless, it's pretty cool that it's here. And obviously, the big martini liveried transit van in the, uh, in the background. Now, not gonna lie, I don't necessarily know the history of this because when I walked in here, I was very confused, but I imagine because of the race, uh, stripped out interior and the race, uh, race spec on it, it's probably something to do with rally. Naturally, having signs and McRae's number and name on the side of the car. Perhaps it was a crew van, who knows? Over here, Escort XR3i. I mean, just the whole place is like a candy shop for adults. It's absolutely bonkers. Absolutely brilliant, I, to be honest. This is probably one of the best days we've had in a very long time. We've all been stuck down here in COVID and now we're out playing with lots of very, very special Fords. RS200, RS200, real one, not replica, real one. This one is a road going version. So instead of 600 brake horsepower, it's got around 250, don't quote me on that, but around 250 brake horsepower in the car. And to be honest, even though it's lower powered, I'd still have one. How many miles has it done? It has done 22,000 miles. 22,000 miles in one of these. Actually, that's not too bad considering it's an RS200. So quite impressive for that. Behind us, we have Racing Puma. Car that actually I quite like personally. A lot of people don't like the Puma. I think they're bloody cool. But over here is the gold. In my eyes, at least, because I'm a bit of an Escort Mark II fan. Um, Obviously, full-on rally spec Group A Cosmo. I mean, where do you go? What, what do you do? How do you even start with this sort of stuff? That one's actually locked, so we can't open that one. Never mind. But this, this is it. This is, this is it for me because my first car was a Mark II Escort, and it's this sort of spec, this trim, is what my ultimate goal was, and. I mean, wow. The, the, the mad thing about this area is that 
None of these are replicas. These are the real thing here. So a lot of the times you see these cars out and about and think, oh, okay, that's really cool, but it's a replica. No, that is the genuine car. Everything in here has been. I mean, how many miles has it done? Just out of pure curiosity, it's a rally car, so it doesn't particularly matter. 4,220 miles. Man, oh man. So that's it for this video. I mean, I, I'm, I'm struggling for words to try and do an outro, but wow, thank you so much to Ford for letting us to come here and uh, play around in this new, new area they've got for all of their lovely heritage fleet. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like below. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here for more car content weekly. And uh, I shall leave you with a little bit of B-roll at the end so you can have a look around this fantastic collection. Until next time, guys, take care.